friends, so today we're going to make a pattern feather like this one. Um, so this is kind of just a fun project for us to practice doing feathers with. Um, so you have two choices. You can either draw your own feather or you can trace the stencils that I have at your desks. Um, either one will work. If you're drawing it, I'm going to go ahead and draw mine so I can show you how to do it. So the first thing we're going to do is take a pencil, make sure our paper is portrait, not landscape, portrait. Then we're going to take our pencil and make almost a straight line, but it curves a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you want to just make a straight line, you can too. Then I'm going to come to the top of this line, and I'm going to come and curve my feather all the way to the bottom. And if it's not perfect, you can erase and fix it. Remember, draw light until you get it right. Don't draw super dark, because then it's hard to erase. Then I'm going to come in and do the other side. So it's almost like a leaf, right? So we're going to pretend like we're drawing a leaf at first. Then I can come in and make the stem of the feather. Okay, I can come in and section my feather into different sections. It doesn't matter how many sections you have. Okay, and then I'm ready to start tracing with Sharpie. So if you don't have Sharpie, you can just do a black marker or crayon. But I'm going to trace over my pencil lines. Now, for the inside stem, I colored mine in. You can leave it white if you want to, or you can color it in. So I'm going to go ahead and trace this real quick. Okay, so there's my feather. And what I did before I went and um, traced over with Sharpie is I added a, a couple little points at the bottom to show that it's a feather. But if you just do it this way too, that's okay. So I can even go in and make my lines here thicker. And the next thing you're going to do, if you want to use pencil, you can, but if you want to just start with Sharpie, you can just start with Sharpie. Okay, so now in each section, you're just going to think of a pattern. Okay, so I did a bunch of patterns on this one. They could be easy patterns, they could be more complicated. I have examples on the slideshow of patterns, so you know what kind of patterns you can do. So there's one pattern, super easy. I can do wavy lines. Okay, so I can do wavy lines. Right? I can even do zigzags. I could just do whatever patterns I want. I can even do like little flower patterns. So remember, a pattern is just something that repeats itself. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this leaf with pattern really quick so you can see how to use pattern. Alright, so now I'm done with my patterns. And now what I can do is take my markers in my bucket and I can start coloring. Now you can do whatever coloring you want. I like to stick with like the same color group, so I did two colors of green, two colors of red and pink, oranges and reds, purples, blues, and then grays. But you can do it however you want. Like on this one, I'm just going to come color the background, make sure you're coloring inside the lines, and you're taking your time. So I'm going to go ahead and color mine, and then we will move on from here. So now I'm finished coloring mine, and my last step today is to get the scissors in my in my bucket and cut out my feather. Now remember, when I'm cutting, I always cut away from myself. I never cut towards my body. I always cut away. And when I want to cut this way, I turn the paper. So watch. 
I'm turning my paper as I'm cutting. That helps me. So watch, let me show you on the other side. When I come to the other side, I can probably just cut off that. Then I'm going to turn my feather over so I'm still cutting away from myself as I'm cutting. And then I'm going to cut off here. Careful not to cut your stem off. It's really easy to cut your stem off. Now, leave your paper at your desk. So look, I have my paper here. I'm going to leave it at my desk until the end of class when we go to line up. Now, the last thing I need to do is write my name on the back with pencil. There's my name. So now my name's here and I am all finished for today. When you are finished, make sure you leave your feather at your desk. When your table is called, you need to throw this in recycling and make sure all of your stuff is put back in your bucket nicely. Awesome. Well, I will see you guys later. I want to see awesome feathers.